We know that a deleted file is moved to trash, a temporary location on the hard disk, and it can be resurrected back to life when it's required by the user. But what happens when we empty the trash? Do the files actually disappear from the hard disk? Well, on any hard disk, there's this file table which says something like, File X is stored in location A. When the user requests to access File X, the table points the user to location A. When the user requests permanent deletion of File X, location A is marked as empty inside the file table. Therefore, File X stays there, but to the user, location A is nothing but reusable empty space, which means the space is available for new data. Great. Okay. To simplify this even more, think about how you access a chapter inside a book. The index page tells you which chapter is on which page. If you want to delete a chapter, just mark it as empty on the index page. The user thinks that particular page number has blank pages and he can write new information there. But it doesn't change the fact that those pages are still full with that chapter. Now you know a simple delete isn't sufficient, as there's a reasonable way for the data to be recovered. So, there's this method called zero filling, which involves filling every byte of the original file with zero, then deleting the file. That way, even if you restore the data in the file table, all you're going to get back is an empty file. The problem is that the magnetic right head doesn't do this with 100% efficiency. After zero filling, you can still tell what used to be one and what used to be zero by looking at the precise orientation. So, in July 1996, Peter Gutman presented an algorithm which involved writing a series of 35 patterns over the region which is to be erased securely. But overriding 35 times is also not enough because of something called bad sectors. Bad sectors are areas on a hard drive which cannot be overwritten because of failed transistors or physical damage. That means that any data that was ever put there stays there. So, you might think the only option left is to shred the hard drive to pieces. But even that's not enough, because there are tools out there which can read data from those broken pieces. So if you really want to obliterate the data, the best option you have is to burn it. <laughs>